afternoon. It is Wednesday and we are, where are we, Ryan? Sky Zone! We're at Sky Zone! So the kids are stuck in the house for what, five, four or five days when I was sick, so we're gonna let them let out some energy and have some fun, right? Yeah! yeah. And then after this, we are going to go get lunch at Cracker Barrel and just treat the kids. I feel really bad that half their vacation was spent at home just because I was so sick. I couldn't get out of bed, so yeah. We did do other fun things though, right? We went to visit Santa Claus. We opened up gifts. We played with friends. We went to a Christmas pajama party. So we did do a few things before I got sick, thankfully. So I guess something counts, right? Are you tired? You've been jumping for an hour, huh? So we have about 30 minutes left here and then our time is up from jumping and then we will go get some lunch. So I'm not sure how much footage I will get today, so I'll probably vlog again tomorrow and then just combine it, so. Mom, yeah. let's, let's go to a vlog zone. We can't go back over there. We gotta let the other kids play there, okay? Hi, buddy. Look at Sissy. She's so excited. Whee! Go, Maddie. Go, Maddie. Go. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna fall. <laughs> Ryan, you're fast. Maddie. Hey, Madison. <laughs> Can you jump higher than that? Can you bounce off the wall? <laughs> Did you color? Did you do all that already? Yeah. Where are we? Cracker Barrel. Yeah, Maxine wants all her shoes. Ryan's doing his activities. You're coloring the girl down? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta color it. You gotta color it. Sissy's drawing and she's coloring. She's stopping. Maddie, are you drawing? What are you drawing? Hey guys, so it is currently Saturday. I just got home. Ryan had his first Jiu Jitsu class um, this morning at 9.15 and he loved it. He had so much fun. And then after we went grocery shopping and Ryan is trying new food. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that my son Ryan. Yeah, hold on. Um, My son Ryan. Ever since he was younger, he had really um, severe sensory issues when he was younger. He saw a therapist for it and um, yeah, it was really bad. So he's super picky with food and he literally eats the same foods over and over again. So I'm trying to get him to eat new foods and it's really hard for him to try new foods. Um, so I asked him if this week, if he would try five new foods and we went down a list and I let him help me pick out a few things. So he's not, um, his sensory issues aren't as severe as it used to be when he was younger, but he still has it. So the five things that we chose this week was broccoli, spinach, cheese, um, peaches, and a burger. So those are the five things he's going to try this week. So he just tried, he just tried string cheese. You like the cheese? Yeah. You're going to show them, you're going to show them that you can try it? Here, look, try. Try your cheese. So he picked out cheese at the grocery store and now he likes it, right? You see what happens when you try new foods? You find out that you like it. Isn't that awesome? So now the next thing he's gonna try is broccoli. broccoli. So. If I like, I wanna try that big thing. You want, here, look, this one's bigger. All right, so now Ryan's gonna try broccoli. He loves carrots and cucumbers, which are veggies. So let's see if he likes this one. You gotta bite down on it, bro. Mm. You like it? I like I'm it so proud of you. 
Can I have a hug? Oh, thanks. You're, so, you're, you're so good. You're doing so good. So look, you tried two new foods and you ended up liking it. So that's why you always have to try new things. I, and I um, agreed with him. I told him that if he tries one of the new foods, oh my God, it's really orange. I told him if he tries any of these new foods and he doesn't like it, he's like gagging, I'm not gonna force him to eat it. Um, I just want him to at least try. And I told him he has to at least chew it too because when he was younger and I would have him try new foods, he would um, just like lick it or put it on his tongue and he would spit it out and say he didn't like it. So I told him he had to chew it. So now he likes it. Right, that's not a problem. What do you look? What are you eating? That's that's a leaf from the from the broccoli. You're gonna eat that too? Are you are you on a roll? You're just like trying new things. Is it was it from the tree? Yeah. You wanna eat you wanna eat that whole head? I wanna try it. Okay. I was trying to make it easier for him and I cut small pieces, but he wants to go straight for the big head because he's a big boy. Yummy. Yay. I love broccoli. Now you can eat broccoli with mommy. Daddy doesn't like broccoli, but me and Sissy, we love broccoli. You know, I, I love broccoli. Yay. You ready to get some, some Chick-fil-A? We got some Chick-fil-A for lunch. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Oh, oh, you want to do kisses to the camera? What are you eating for lunch? Chick-fil-A, because I tried my broccoli and cheese. <laughs> yeah, so for dinner, you know what you're gonna have for dinner tonight? Mommy bought rotisserie chicken from grocery store, so we're gonna have rotisserie chicken, broccoli, and then you can pick whatever other side you want, okay? Cheese. Cheese, you want cheese, broccoli, and rotisserie chicken for dinner? Right now we're having some Chick-fil-A. I already bought my hands from Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I had to tell him to wash his hands because he went to martial arts class today. Yeah, yummy. So we're eating some Chick-fil-A right now. I love this sriracha sauce, so good. Oh. Then mommy has a lot of cleaning to do. It says Amazon. Yeah, it does. Can we, can we get it from Amazon? Probably. All right, you guys, so it is later. It is two minutes before three o'clock and I have been cleaning up. I've been filming a clean with me video. It'll be a clean with me video where I just clean the downstairs of my house. Yes. I still have my Christmas tree up, but I got all my other Christmas decorations down. I didn't film when I took all my Christmas decorations down just because I did it like two or three days ago and I just wanted to hurry up and get it done. I didn't feel like dragging the camera around. So I didn't film that. I want to do like an undecorate and um, clean with me, but that didn't happen. But I did get all the decorations down, all the other decorations in the house, and I did take down all the ornaments the tree skirt and then um, the topper. I'm just waiting for my husband to bring down the box from the attic for the Christmas tree and then I will break it down. I just don't wanna break it down and have it laying on the floor. So I'm gonna keep it up until he can get the box down. He's been working a lot, so he's been getting home super late. But the play area, I'm so tired of Madison making a disaster. We always have so many toys in the play area, like in the little drawers. And it drives me crazy because when I put her in this area to get things done around in the house or for her to play, she makes a huge disaster. She throws all the toys out and there was just way too many toys in there. And then also their kitchen. Um, they've had the kitchen since Madison was like one. I think we got it from Madison for Christmas when she was one and she's almost five. She'll be five in April. So we've had it for quite a while. It's falling apart. So... I'm gonna get rid of it, the kids don't know. I have it in the garage right now. I took it out of the play area because we have so much stuff in the play area now, now that we have the indoor trampoline. The trampoline, it's not an outdoor trampoline, so we can't put it outside or it won't last. It's an indoor trampoline. And then the little playhouse is supposed to be outside, but they love it so much and they play with it so much. That's why we keep it inside because we take it outside. I know it's going to get really dirty and yucky super fast. So yeah, I took out the kitchen and then I took out literally 90% of the toys. I only kept in a few toys. And then there was like three chairs of theirs in here. I took out one chair. So one chair I took out the kitchen and like 90% of the toys. And then I also scooted the um, little trampoline more in the corner in the house. It's still crowded. I don't like how it looks. Um, yeah, it sucks because I just wish they had a play room that was like upstairs where I can just hide it. I hate my downstairs looking like this, but you know what? I'm a mom, that's life. My kids have a lot of stuff, so it'll just have to do for now. Maybe eventually we will put that house outside in the backyard and take down this colorful gate because it drives me crazy. 
and then we will just keep like the trampoline maybe in that corner or something, I don't know. But for now, this is how it looks like. I'm gonna show you guys what I did. Um, I did have it clean, but Madison just pulled out all the drawers again. So I'll still show you how I kind of set it up. Maybe I'll pick up really fast so you guys can see how it looks cleaned up. And yeah, so I'll show you guys, hold on. All right, so this is how it looks now. So the trampoline, I kind of pushed it as far back as possible <laughs> over there in the corner. What are you laughing at, silly girl? Pushed it back all the way in the corner. And then the house, I put it over there. The house first I had over here and it just, I didn't like how it looked. So then I put the house over there. And then I have their little drawers here where they have a few toys in it. Like I said, I took like 90% of it out. Um, as you guys can see, the kitchen isn't in here anymore. I took out the play kitchen. I took out one of the chairs. It was a third like little wooden chair. I took that out. And then I took out like 90% of the toys. I still need a vacuum inside. But yeah, that's how it looks for now. Um, I eventually want to get rid of this colorful gate because I hate it. And I hate just... I don't know, I just hate having all this stuff in my living room, but yeah, I'll just have to do for now. It's okay. And I just finished cleaning. I still need a vacuum, but I'm taking a little break, but there goes my tripod stand. But yeah, all the balloons. I'll probably get rid of all these balloons right now too, because it's driving me crazy. But yeah, this is the Christmas tree. All the ornaments are down other than that tiny one, because Ryan just put it on. But I need to break it down and then put it in the box once my husband takes it down. You just do. What did you do? You gonna tell me? Look what you did. So, Madison, I don't know if you guys can see the water on the floor. The water all over the fridge, but she came and pressed the water and didn't expect it to come out. And now you're soaked. Can I see? Oh, the poor baby got wet. We're gonna have to change you now. Do you even care that you're wet? You don't care that you got wet with cold water? No. Oh, okay, well guess what? Look, your hair got wet. Now mommy has to clean that up and I just cleaned the house. Can I see? Look, you're all wet. Thanks, Madison. Now mommy has to clean all this up. 